Hey, what is up guys? This is Rohan from dragonblogger.com and today I'll be reviewing the iSumSoft Cloner for Windows. This software allows you to easily make a clone of your Windows operating system as well as any partition. You can also make a backup of your partition which you can restore later. So this is the website from where you can download and purchase the software from. You can download the trial version which lets you use the full version for 7 days for absolutely no cost. All the links will be in the description box below. I have the software installed so let me open it. Before that I have made two new disk partitions for testing in which I have added a couple of images and two video files. The other one is just an empty partition. Let's move on to the software. Since I have the trial version installed, I got a notice that my trial period will end in 6 days. Let's just click on OK. This is the main menu of the software. Over here, you get three options. Copy, Backup and Restore. Let's start with Copy. The Copy feature lets you copy your windows or any disk partition over to another partition. Over here, you can see all the drives that are currently available in your computer. Let's try copying the data from the H drive over to the J drive. Under the source target, select the drive that you want to copy. I will select the H drive. And under the destination target, select the drive in which you want the data to be copied. Then just click on start. The software will give you a warning that this will format the destination drive. So make sure that you don't have any important data in that drive. Then click OK. Over here you can see the copy status. It shows you how much data has been transferred and the remaining time. Let me fast forward the process. And we are done. Let's see if the process was successful or not. So the software has managed to copy all of my files successfully. Let's check out the backup feature. As I said earlier, the backup feature allows you to make a backup of your partition, which you can restore later. First, we will have to choose a disk partition to backup. You can do that from here. I will choose the H drive for this test. Next, we will have to choose the save location for the backup file, which we can do from here. And I will select this drive to save my backup file. The backed up partition will be saved in a single ICG format, which can be restored later using the software. Click on start. Are you sure? Yes, please. Let me fast forward it. And we are done. There we have the backup file. Before we restore it, let me quickly format the H drive since we don't need the files in it anymore. Okay, so let's move on to the restore feature. So over here, we have to choose the restoration destination. I will set mine to the H drive. And from here, let's select the backup file. There we have it. And start. Uh, yes, I'm fine with you formatting my H drive. Let's see if the software is able to restore the files properly or not. And there we have it. The software was successfully able to restore my backup. Okay, so the final feature is the Make Boot Disk. This feature gives you access to all the features of the software without logging into the system using the BIOS menu. All you need is a flash drive. I won't be able to cover this feature in this video, so make sure to check out my written review where I'll be covering this feature in detail. All the links will be in the description box below. 
and i will see you in the next one